Alrighty, man, that guy Justin Fields has been putting on a show recently, showing everyone why the Bears should keep him for the 2024 season. And man, I think he's doing a pretty good job of it because he's been looking pretty good with all things considered. So I wanted to jump into his last game against the Falcons and see how good he was actually able to play. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, Justin Fields against the Falcons. I know the film's a little bit blurry. It's because it was snowing super bad, but we're going to make it work. So on the first play here, all we got, we got a post on this outside. And then we got DJ Moore coming underneath it, waiting for the post to break off, and then cutting underneath it on a wheel up the sideline right there. You have this guy coming across on a crosser, tight end, helping, getting out right there, running back, coming out on a swing. And all Justin Fields is looking at, it's a one-high safety, so he knows he can't throw this post right here. So he's going one to this wheel, if this, they're in man coverage, so if they get uh, combobulated here and get messed up, this should be open. So that's his one. If it's not open, two here, three here, four here. Pretty simple. So you're going to see it play out right here. Boom. You see the, you see the post take place right here. It's going to make this guy go through that guy, which gives DJ Moore a step on him. That's the whole point of this play. You want these guys to be running into each other so somebody comes wide open. And that's exactly what happens right here. Justin Fields sees it, gets out on time, right on the money for a big, big chunk. It's hard to see from that other angle him actually catching the ball, so I want to show you how good of a throw this actually is. Hits his back foot, hitch, ball. Boom. Right in stride, right where you want to throw it. Perfect throw. Let's go. Next play here, big time touchdown from Justin Fields. And all we got, we got an in here. This guy's coming out and then getting on the end here. And then you got DJ Moore coming here and getting on the corner route. And all Justin Fields is looking at is high low to the one end to the two end. So he's looking corner and then down to this first end and then down to the second end. But Justin Fields knows they're in man coverage. So he knows he has DJ Moore one on one with this safety with leverage to the outside. So he trusts DJ Moore to win. And that's exactly what he does. Puts it out there. Right on the money for another big catch and a touchdown. Watch how good of a throw this is from right here. He's going to wait on it to get open. Ball. Boom. You can't put that ball any more perfect. Right on the money. Only his guy can make a catch on it. And that's exactly what happens. Big time first drive. Big time touchdown. Great job. Next play here. We kind of got a similar concept to what we ran earlier. All we got is skinny post here. A wheel underneath it. And then we got this guy coming out on an out. And we got this guy chipping and then coming out and running the dig right here. And all Justin Fields is looking at is post a wheel and then two coming to the out route and then three coming to the dig. Pretty simple right here. You're going to see him. You're going to see that post isn't going to be there because he is in the middle of the field like he was the last time they ran this. And at this corner right here follows with this post. That means DJ Moore is one-on-one -on -one with this slot corner. We love the matchup. Put it out there. Give him a chance with pressure in his face. Exactly what Justin Fields does. Puts it right on the money for another huge chunk. This right here is what happens when you give a quarterback a receiver one. They can actually make plays on the ball. And Justin Fields can trust him to throw him the ball. And that's exactly what we've been seeing happen re recently. Great throw. Also a great catch. Another big chunk. Let's go. Next play here, all we got is a deep corner right here to the end zone. We have this guy coming across on a drag, and then we have this tight end coming across in the middle of everything on a crosser, and all Justin Fields is doing is reading everything from high, one, down to here, and then down finally to the flat. We're also going to get play action off of this, and Justin Fields is going to roll out to change the launch point so he can run downhill towards his target. You're going to watch it play out right here. The play action gets these linebackers down in these run fits right here. That's exactly what you're trying to do with it. Justin Fields does a good job giving that good fake. Gets out of there. What I love about this is you have this guy going to the corner. He's double teamed. He's not there. Come back to the crosser. The crosser, if he keeps running here, isn't going to be open because this guy's trying to match it. But he see, this tight end right here sees the zones, so he sits in this open zone, and Justin Fields is on the same page as him. So he flips his hips, gets the ball out right on his chest for another huge first down and a big gain. Watch this great fake from Justin Fields from this back angle right here. Fake, got the backers, roll out of there. 
This backer right here is trying to match with this tight end, but he sees that, so he's going to settle down in this zone right here that's open. Justin Fields is on the same page, and he puts a perfect ball on him, falling away. That's exactly what you're asking for. Next play here, here's another reason why the Bears should consider keeping Fields. All they got, going to get this guy in motion, come back across and run a bubble. Got these two guys just blocking here, and all Justin Fields is doing, if he has numbers out here, he's going to throw it to the bubble. If not, he's going to run a quarterback draw and get what he can with his legs. Watch it play out right here. Going to motion him out. He's out in the bubble. You don't like it because you don't have numbers. You got this guy coming downhill, and then you have two on two. So you have three over three. You want to have numbers, so you'd like it to be two over three. That's not what you have. So Justin Fields takes off with his legs and does what he always does and makes something happen for another touchdown. Next play here, all we got is a little play action to try to pull these backers down because all we got is a crosser coming right over the top of them as your one, and then as your two, you have DJ Moore coming out on a deep curl that should be there if the crosser's not there. So if the play action works, which it does, it gets these backers to hold for just a second and one of them to step up hard. So the crosser should be able to come open over the top of them. Justin Fields has pressure in his face, still gets the ball out on time, on the on the guy's face mask for another huge chunk, man. You're going to see Justin Fields right here. Watch, he's going to get pressure in his face. Doesn't affect the throw, stands in there, still delivers a perfect ball. It's just great stuff. Next play here, this is a great throw by Justin Fields, but it's also a great design by Luke Getze. The Falcons right here are in man coverage, and all the Bears are going to run is they're going to get this guy on the outside to extend inside on a seam to clear everything out, and then they're going to have DJ Moore switch release with him and go out and then cut it in on a dig. And all this does is when DJ Moore extends out like this, it's going to get this guy thinking he's on a fade, so he's going to extend out, and he's going to get outside of him. And right when this guy gets outside of him, DJ Moore can cut it back in and be wide open on the dig so Justin Fields can throw it to him. You're going to see exactly what I mean here when they switch release. Watch what I'm talking about. Boom, switch release. This guy gets outside of him extremely fast. Now DJ Moore has inside leverage where he can win a lot easier. Justin Fields sees that. Hitches, ball, on time, right on his face mask. And DJ Moore makes the rest happen, getting some extra yardage after the catch. I mean, I can't overstate how well drawn up this is right here to switch release those guys to help DJ Moore out. And then it's a great route, leaning into him and getting open. And Justin Fields puts it right on the money. My favorite thing about this entire play, though, is watch when Justin Fields gets ready to throw this football. Boom, he's separating now. Look where DJ Moore's at. He's not even out of his break yet. Yes, yes. This is what we've been asking to see for Justin Fields for a long time now. And if he's doing this, then there's no reason to move on from him. Throwing with anticipation, still putting it right on his face mask. Next play here, nothing to really talk about. He gets some pressure, and he just does some unbelievable stuff. He gets somebody free off the edge, goes underneath them, breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle from a defensive lineman, makes somebody miss, and then runs and gets himself a first down. The upside with Justin Fields is so, so, so high that just going out and getting him another receiver to work with could change everything. And if he can also do stuff like this, I mean, who's going to stop him? That is absolutely unbelievable. Next play here, another great job by Justin Fields recognizing what the Falcons are trying to do. All the Falcons are doing is they're sending five, trying to get a little bit of extra pressure. And then behind it, they're just playing straight man coverage with the middle of the field closed. And then all the Bears are running is post here, curl here, and then they have a drag coming across the field. So Justin Fields knows he can't throw the post because it's one high safety in the middle of the field taking that away. So he has to come just one to his curl and then two to DJ Moore. And it's probably going to be DJ Moore because he's running away from his guy in man coverage, which is exactly what you want when a team's playing man. So looking at the curl, not there. DJ Moore wide open. Put it out in front of him. Let him go make some things happen after the catch. It's really easy to see there. Watch Justin Fields' eyes. He's looking at the curl. Doesn't like it. Comes off to the drag. On the money. Great job. Next play here. Absolutely love this from Justin Fields. All the Falcons are trying to do is they're playing man coverage once again. Pretty easy to see with one high safety. And what Justin Fields does is he's going to look at DJ Moore's side to pull this safety over there. And he's going to come back to Tyler Scott right here, who's running a seam, and try to hit him up the seam. Watch Justin Fields' eyes right here. Boom, look at DJ Moore. 
This safety is turning his hips and running full speed that way. Right when Justin Fields sees that, comes back to the other side of the field where Tyler Scott did a great job at getting separation and finding a way to get open. He sees it, releases it, and puts that ball in almost a perfect spot. Tyler Scott has to come down with this catch. Watch the eye manipulation right here to get that safety to pull over. Safety's pulling over. Come back to the seam. Ball. And man, oh man, that is about as perfect as you can be on the throw. I think he has to come down with that catch. But that's going to be a wrap for the Justin Fields breakdown. I hope you all enjoyed it. Justin Fields is playing some pretty good football right now, proving that he should earn another year. And I hope he does earn that. But that's, of course, just my opinion. So I'm still curious to know what you think in the comments below. So let me know down there. And with that being said, I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.